Here's a scale comparison I found. We are starting at the size of a six-sided die, and we will work our way up to Betelgeuse, one of the brightest and biggest stars in our sky. Zooming out will be a little bit jumpy, but there's no way for me to fix that. There's the New Horizons spacecraft, which is 2.1 meters long. This took the first ever photos of Pluto. The goddamn Great Pyramid of Giza. Look how big it is, it's 137 meters tall. But let's keep zooming out and see how small that really is. There's Halley's Comet, which is 9.3 miles long and 5 miles wide. It will pass by Earth in 2061. Now things are starting to get really big. There's Mimas, I think that's how you pronounce it, which is one of Saturn's moons and Sedna, which is a dwarf planet in our outer solar system. There's our moon, which has a diameter of 3,474 kilometers. There's Mercury, the closest planet to the sun, and Venus, which is the second closest planet to the sun. There's our planet Earth and our neighbor Mars. Jupiter needs to lose some goddamn weight. Look how big this guy is. Proxima Centauri is the closest star to us. It's four and a quarter light years away. And there's our sun, which can fit about one million Earths inside of it. But our sun is not a big star. Look at this guy, Rigel. He's the 17th brightest star in the night sky. There's Alfard, which is about 50 times larger than our sun, but only three times the mass. And there's Betelgeuse, around 1,000 times larger than our sun, and is expected to go supernova soon, potentially in our lifetimes.